Lauren Crawford. I love the picture of me and you. Pure 80s. I'm in that zone and so are you. You look fantastic. Uh, how did we pick the songs? We did always did everything as a collective, you know, and so certain songs picked themselves, I believe. Wishing I Was Lucky was always going to be the first single. We always wanted that to be the first single because it just always seemed to be the, the, the most obvious choice. Well, like, Wishing I Was Lucky, it had a groove, it had a real, you know, it, it was talking about, it was, it was really saying something lyrically too that meant something and really resonated with us. You know, the, the, the whole idea that, um, you know, that uh, we, we grew up in Claybank, you know, and, and it was famous for its shipbuilding. And I know this has been well documented before, but when we had left school, the, you know, the, uh, uh, the opportunities weren't as uh, the way they used to be. You could walk in and get an apprenticeship and stuff like that, but that was not that was not a, an option for us. So, wishing I was lucky, uh, is, uh, deals with how our community was broken up to go and search of jobs. That's one of the things that were in there, in the in the lyric of the song, and and it had such a positive message. And I always loved that that play, Laura, where we were like, you know how like if, when uh, yeah, I always imagined that if you could be offered. A wish. What would it be? What would that wish be? And for me, I just loved that idea that I'd wish I was lucky. Because if you're lucky, then if uh, 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 you're, you're going to do well, whether you're lucky in love or lucky in life or lucky financially, you know. And 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 that's what I would always wish for. I would wish for I was lucky in love, lucky in health, and lucky in happiness, and all those things. So that was that. That's what uh, uh, I hung the. The, the, the lyric roundabout, you know, and I just think it was as a song to introduce the the uh, went out went to the world it would be wishing I was lucky and it kind of really encompassed what we were all about and what and and how in, and we were infused for it. We thought it would maybe do okay and introduce us to the audience. Maybe in the next album might you know do something. Who would have thought that we climb all the way up the charts and start us on a a journey like that. That's what Pop Tin sold out is all about. Those hit records like Wishing I Was Lucky. And I remember that the I Remember was going to be a single. And then at the last minute we changed it. We'd done the video and everything for it. And it changed it for Sweet Little Mystery and I'm sure you know that. But And Sweet Little Mystery is another one of those songs. It was just a great pop song. You know, the album wasn't finished when we, uh, I remember getting a phone call from the record company saying, oh, you got to, we've got these flights. They can take, we can go and film a video for uh, Sweet Little Mystery in Africa. And we were so stoked about that. Got us out of the studio for a little while and we filmed that. And it just seemed to capture our, our love for what we do. But it, most importantly, the song had that energy. It's just a great pop song. There's no track kid on it. There's no track be something that's not. It's the great toe tapper. And a bunch of guys, once again, having a great time. Absolutely love Sweet Little Mystery. Falling in love with it again. There's another classic example. You have relationships with songs. Uh, I certainly do. And this came full circle with me with that, that with that track because, you know, when you hear it, it just puts a smile on my face. And I'll say again, love the picture of me and you. 